Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin, I'm a geek, you are watching Kevin the Geek and welcome to a reaction to the show Outnumbered. Um, this has been suggested by many people over uh, you know, a considerable length of time. Um, and I've been debating whether or not to do it for a little while, but then I've also thought recently, maybe I should do it because there is going to be a new episode this coming Christmas. Um, so it might be worthwhile to maybe try and do some episodes and uh, potentially if it does well, I can do you know, a Christmas special uh, in, in, in December and maybe plan that and time that around the time of the new version of it. That may help me get a few extra viewers, may get some new uh, subscribers to the channel, who knows, I don't know. But at the very least, I need to see if the first episode is going to be any good. So, uh, yeah, let's check out this first episode. Um, I don't know much about it other than apparently it's sort of semi-improvised um, because of the kids. Um, and they're sort of apparently just... They're kind of let to go kind of wild a, a little bit to a certain extent, which is going to make it very interesting. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know what the plot is. I don't know what the dynamic is. But I'm sure we're about to find out. Do please subscribe if you're new. Do turn on notifications. Do please drop your comments down below. But let's check out Outnumbered Series 1, Episode 1, The School Run. Oh, I'm an idiot. I do apologise. I literally turned the uh, the volume down from a previous video. I, I do. So sorry, sorry. Let's try that again, shall we? Ben, there we go. Ben, have you seen my keys? Keys, 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 keys. Oh, God's sake. Ooh. Ben and Karen. Nothing back. Again. You're gonna have to take the car. Shoes, teeth, and hair. Why can't people just leave? What are you doing with Daddy's computer? I'm taking it to show and tell. No, you're not. Show and tell's on Friday, and today's Tuesday, so. But they changed it. No, they haven't changed it, have they? Yes. When did they change it? Last Wednesday. Who changed it? Problems on the Tell district line. Friday. Let go. We're gonna go. put it back. Oh, I don't really want to take no, it. No, you can't take people it. People show take and tell. Pet. Come outside and put... Ben, come and look, you'll Can break I it. Can I take this no. for history week? <laughs> no, you can't take it. Turn it off. Turn it off. That's a bit loud. doing my head in now. Go Dad, get your shoes Nothing off. between here and Tower Hill. Oh, my word. What is it? The old days of teletext. God, Star this go back quite a few years, isn't it? Can be? Every kid wants to be a train driver. Oh, hi there, it's Sue. Yeah, I, I was just wondering whether you knew if they've changed show and tell to Tuesday. No, it's okay. It, it's okay. No, no, don't panic. It's probably just Ben making things up again. Could you check with Josh? Yeah. Great, thank you. Mum, it's ten past eight and I don't want to be late for my first day of big school. Don't worry, Maisie, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Ben and Karen, are you getting ready? Yep. They haven't changed show and tell. Thanks, OK, I'll see you later. Bye. Why does he lie like that? I don't know, some it's kids fib kid. as an attention-seeking strategy. He told his teacher I died in Iraq. Yeah, we're in a volcano, I should never <coughs> believe it. Yeah, that is hardly the point, is it? What are you doing? Oh, no, please don't do that. Don't check your emails. But it's not from Veronica. Especially not one from Veronica. You see, if you hadn't checked, you wouldn't know it was there. I just need to read this because... It's time, time to read it. It's three days a week you're meant to be working for that woman. Oh, no, 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 Veronica, no, I am not having that. No. Oh, no. Don't no. reply. Don't, don't reply because that is fatal. If you reply, she'll reply to your reply and you'll be tempted to reply to her reply and you'll, you'll find yourself trapped in that... Cycle. Of... Pandora's circle. Yeah. It is. Oh, hello. Where's my other shoe? Oh, I don't know. Where did you put it? Can you remember? No. What's a hypocrite? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> a hypocrite. If, for example, I'd said you mustn't eat all the cake, and then I ate all the cake myself, then I'd be a hypocrite. What's a twat? <laughs> twat. 
a very nice word for children to use. Well, where did you hear that? You've been watching Trisha or something? No, uh, last night when you were arguing with Mum. Yeah, well, mummies and daddies do argue sometimes, don't they? You shout sometimes, don't you? Did you, uh, did you hear any other words? There were some other words that I heard, but I just can't remember them. Good, good. Good. Something about midlife. <laughs> Something about... The crisis? Pellock. <laughs> and... There's pellock and... <laughs> another word. I think it's punk, and oh. there was one, and it was tight bum. <laughs> yeah, well, probably best not to use those too often. Yeah. Why don't you um go off and find your shoe? Yeah. <laughs> Is that our first example of kids literally just saying whatever they they want? They get kind of get given a a, a, like a, a a general direction of where they want the scene to go, and then they just go, "I'll just make it up." If so, if that's the kind of thing that we're going to get on the show, I'm down for it. What's all that about? Look, I'm really, I'm really sorry about last night. Yeah, it was just... Uh, no, no, it was me. It no, was me. No, no because I hadn't me. really thought it through. No, no, well, that's true, but it was <laughs> me. No, it was me. It was me. me. It's usually me. Well, it was, it was yeah. mostly me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tight bum. Honk. A honk. Whoa! For show, it is not for show and tell because hey, you could hurt someone with that. B, it's daddies, and C, show and tell is still on Fridays. <laughs> Why's she got devil horns? Nuts. Um, I've warned you about this lying, haven't I, Ben? Ignore. No one likes little boys who lie. Ignore. You know what happened to Pinocchio? No but one in the likes the. He's cartoon. He's not real. You've got to stop lying. But you have to stop lying, Ben, because nobody likes little boys who lie, do they? Some people do. <laughs> Ross likes me, Nathan likes me, Dion likes me. Well, we all we all like you, Ben, but the point of the story of Pinocchio the was that... The person who looks after me isn't called Geppetto, and I don't live in a little hut yeah. in the forest. That's true. No, but... You could, if you carry on like... Look, we're going off of the tent. <laughs> Why don't you just go and get your school book? Go on. It's, uh, it's, it's so hard with kids. Uh, you know, it really, really is. Like, I've got, I've got a little nephew, if you're not already aware. He's currently three. Uh, and it's so hard sometimes to, to try to be, you know, tough and, and serious. Because sometimes they're just so cute. And, um, like, the, the amount of times, like, I'll put him to bed and, he, and he'll, like... He'll, like he's not quite asleep and he'll sort of get up and he's and he'll like want to creep downstairs and then and I'll go to him, it's like, get back to bed and then he's just there and he'll start giggling at the top of the stairs, he'll be like, <laughs> And I'm like I'm like, Don't laugh. Don't laugh. The moment you laugh, he thinks it's a game and you've undermined your own authority. So don't laugh. Don't laugh. He's like Get to bed, you You secretly you you try not to laugh, it's so hard. Wow. You are to go nowhere near my staple gun. <laughs> oh, come on! He's got the right idea. Hello. Oh, hi, Dad. Everything OK? No, you don't have to put the bins out today. The bin day's Friday. No, no, today's Tuesday, Dad. No, 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 no. Listen, it, don't worry, because I get the days of the week mixed up. It's, it's Look, don't get anxious. It, it's, it's fine. Dad, I found a letter for you. Oh, thanks. Right. Are you going to look at it? No, uh, it's boring stuff. I'll look at it later. Um, yeah. postcard from Auntie Angela. Mm -hmm. We're going to be late, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah, right? Yes. Can I get a note saying Jake was late because his family is useless? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, what the hell are you doing? Go <laughs> on, Ben, what are you doing? We've got to get going. I made these pictures for you at school. Oh, lovely, that's a lovely picture of... Is this still the morning? Will we time jump? Lo what is it of? A cow. A cow? K killing some people because it doesn't want to make... He made him to food. <laughs> he's, he's ripping their heads off and their arms and, and shooting them. And, uh, on, 
is of people are getting hurt because and the cows can remember the cow doesn't want to be made into food because I don't like burgers so they're made out of cows and pigs and stuff like that so that's why I draw the picture oh, of the cow that makes sense yeah. I'm going to keep hold of that one yeah. that special one yeah, send it to the psychiatrist, which is older. They lovely. Look, do you know what I'm going to do? Ben, I told you to stay away from my staple gun, didn't I? Ah, still the morning. Ben, come on, darling, go and get your shoe. I'm going to look at them all. I'm going to really look at them all and have a good think about them, especially this one. <laughs> and you're going to go and find your shoe. Off you go. You need to get to school. Off you go. That's lovely. That's weird. That kid is taking it right to the edge. Try not to have a go at him. He'll have a screamy fit, and we don't have the time. I wasn't planning no, my ruler's not transparent, and I need a transparent ruler. The ruler's ben! a ruler. I can't hear any movement. Well, the list says I need to have a transparent ruler. Don't you worry. I know exactly where to find one. Oh, hey! For sakes! Pete. Pete. Just. Just easy. Easy. Easy it's, it's his first day at secondary school. We don't want to make him any more nervous. So just, yeah, just easy. Nervous. Don't do the over cheerful thing. Ah. Or the bouncy walk. Or call him Jakester. <laughs> or Squire. Or Mater Rooney. Just, just easy does it. Just try and be a bit more natural. Yeah. Less self conscious. Don't call him Mater Rooney. You see my keys? No. I left them here this morning. I'm sorry, I can't help you. I'm concentrating on not being self conscious. <laughs> Again, Karen. Have you seen my keys? No. Jake. One transparent. Oh, don't do the walk. Don't do the bouncy walk. Ruler. There you go, squat. <laughs> you got everything? Yeah, I think so. Ma, we need to get going. Yeah. Well, it would be a lot easier to get going if somebody hadn't moved the car keys. But as somebody's very helpfully moved them. Okay, found them. Let's go. <laughs> Always ben! the last place. Sorry about all the chaos, Jake. Are you excited? Excited. Well, first day of big school. You're with the big boys now. No, I'm not. They'll all be bigger than me. Of course they won't. Well, they're not going to be many smaller than me. Well, Tim Green starting, he's smaller than you. But he's got dwarfism. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. He's still smaller than you. I mean, technicality. Why doesn't Jake go to the school that you teach? Why doesn't Jake go to the school that I teach him? Oh, so I don't get her. Well, <laughs> there is that, I suppose. Some of the kids at Daddy's school tend to be a bit um, rough, silly, mean, silly with weapons, twats, especially if you're related to a teacher. But anyway, that is big school. No one's going to be silly with weapons at your school. Is a fork a weapon? Can be. A fork. How would you use a fork as a She's weapon? She's so innocent. Mm. You can stab like that. Yep. Come on, come on, <laughs> get your wings off. Time to get ready. Oh, no, 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 you're not doing it Stop again. Stop it! Veronica's really pushing her luck this time because she knows that Martin deals with compliance. She knows <laughs> that. It will take ten seconds. It will not take okay. ten seconds. I'm going to wait outside by the car now. Yeah! <laughs> No, that's just a piece of the vacuum cleaner. No, it isn't. It's my gun. My gun can kill anything, <laughs> especially the fairy. Put it back. It can destroy yeah, the planet. Yeah, put it back. Oh, but look, all that is is a tube. <laughs> just a tube going round and round and round and then coming That's up where you it. put the bullet in. This gun is more powerful than anything. That then we need to give them to the armies, don't we? If they can't, those fairies are magical and they'll just kill you before you kill them. How? Do they have a gun? And do they have anything they can kill? Yes, they fly down your throat and down your heart into a pumpkin and then your blood stops running and then you die. That's not Yeah, possible. that's how yes, it happens. And also they, they go inside you know, the, the mini big axes. They, they chop your bones in half and so you can't move and just kill you. You're just being silly now. <laughs> I'm not! Find your shoes! Look, we really don't have time for this, I'm sorry. Come on, guys! No, we don't he might as well just walk to school. He's the only one who wants to go. It isn't fair on your son. It's done. Out the door, tell him, everybody. Come on. Wagons roll. 
Yeah, but they're, no they're not ready. No shoes on, wrong feet. Oh, come, come on, we'll guys, sort it out in the car. Oh, no, you're not itching your head again. It's not nits again, is it? Let's have a look. Oh, God. No, you're fine. <laughs> come on, guys. Are you sure I haven't got nits? <laughs> Oh, give me the drill. How's he got that back again? Give me, the, give me the drill. Give me the drill. Give me my drill. Drop it. Give me the drill. D don't scream. Don't scream. Can you just sit down in your seat properly? Put your bottom in the seat and sit down. It's now 8.30. All right, look. You can, you can take the drill in the car as long as you promise to leave it there when we get to school, OK? Um... No. No. Give me the drill. No. Give me the, come on, give me the I need the drill. Give the drill. Right. Drop it and come now, or we'll just leave you here on your own. Is that wise? Right. You can stay here on your own all day with nothing to do. He's going to enjoy Let's that. see how you like that. I'll have lots to do. Bye, Ben. Oh, no, you haven't tried the we're leaving you behind ploy. We're on a deadline. Don't worry, he will be here in a sec. Trust no, he won't. The house is probably already on fire. Okay. I can never time them right. You know what's going to happen, Hello? but I just can't time it right. Hi, Lou. Bring your granny to school, Dave. What? No, I don't think so. Since when's there been a bring your oh, granny ben, to school day? Ben told Brittany, did he? Ah. Look, Ben, this is Jake's first day at big school, yeah? So it's a big day for him. So we don't want any shouting or screaming. So give me the drill. Give me the drill. Give me the drill. Give me the drill. Give me the, I'll give you a fiver if you give me the drill. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the school caretaker, sweetheart. George Bush is the president of the United States. <laughs> How could you do that? You know. Help Money. Me seat, but will you Bribes. You're going to like this school, Jake. Do you know, it is a really good school. For every seven kids that try to get in, only one is accepted. Not that that means you're under any pressure. No, you've just got to <laughs> relax and be yourself. Absolutely. The most important you guys thing put the pressure on. You and if anybody asks you where you live, you give them Grandad's address. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're I'm really I'm really sorry, I'm Veronica. It, it, it's my fault. I should never have shown Ben how to reply to an email. He keeps, um... Yeah. Yeah, he does know words like that. <laughs> and that. No, I don't think he has ever met you, so I don't know why he mentioned your... Your... Yo, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> How's your first day at school? All right. Who's your form teacher? All right. Good. How do we sort it all that out? Hi, uh, everything OK? Yep. Jake has been talking my ears off about his first day at school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I popped in on your dad on the way home. Oh, did you? Thanks. How do you remember to eat? Yeah, and I've put a sign, big sign, on his fridge saying, don't forget to eat. Well, that's a good idea. Although maybe I should have stuck it on the TV because he only goes to the fridge when he's remembered to eat anyway. Yeah. On the toilet, maybe. Let's go to the toilet. No, no, he's okay, though. He's, he's doing fine. Good. That was Trousers that was on the right way man. round. Trousers on the right way round. Mum! So, um, <coughs> Ben sent an email pretending to be you. Well, it... Mum! <laughs> She's got nits. Oh. I'm halfway through. Oh, bloody hell. It's these parents, isn't it? I know their kids have got them, and then they just merrily pack them off to school. I know. 
I know. Mm. It's the remains of the spare. What kind of gun, terrible Jake? parent would do that? Never mind. Ah, the old what I did in the holidays composition, eh? I don't think our English department do that. I don't think Year Seven can spell carjacking. <laughs> Actually, do you think your teachers really want to know about our wing mirror? Well, you know, eventual lack of wing mirror incident. Why not? I mean, that's what we did in the holidays, wasn't it? Yeah, but it's not exactly um, road rage, is it? Well, that was a road. <laughs> that was rage. Isn't there? Yeah, but no, I, I don't think I really want people to know about that, Jake. Hmm. You wouldn't want me to put lots of stories about you up on YouTube, would you? You wouldn't know how to do that. Do you think I could um, keep a knit for um, a pet? <laughs> because it's not very big. Well, no, you can't have a knit for a pet. Just one. But it wouldn't be much good for a pet, would they? You can't really play with a knit, can you? You could play like a spy. I spy? With yes, a knit? But they can't talk, can they? They can. In knit language. In knit language? <laughs> and what do they say? They say small things. Small things? Oh, they're just small, disgusting creatures. <laughs> you can't have one as a pet. Right, well, first off, road rage is two words, it's not one. You don't spell psychopathic like that. <laughs> I can't remember your mother saying that. That, yep. And that, but not <laughs> that. And actually, while we're about it, I... Why isn't the phone in the cradle? Why doesn't anybody put the phone in the cradle? Easy enough, isn't it? It's where it lives. Well, didn't she have it on the stairs? Ah. Ah. Hello? Yep, that's me. Uh, no, London Electricity. Uh, provide my gas. Oh, God. Or is it London Gas who provide my electricity? Do you know, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't really remember. Oh, and he's picked up the phone to a cold <laughs> call. Classic schoolboy error. Yep. Classic mistake, Dad. No, I mean, obviously, I'd, you know, I would like to pay less for my energy. Don't get involved, Dad. This yeah. is stupid. They're, they've got, you know, they call get up six o'clock at night, every night. I know, and I know what I'm doing. Do you? Get on with that. Hang sorry, up you if you know what you're again. doing. I missed a bit about units. What can I get as a pet then? Oh, we can't really have pets at the moment, darling. Why can't we get like a giraffe? A giraffe? <laughs> we could keep it outside. Well, no, because giraffes are a bit big, aren't they, darling? What about then a, a lion? <laughs> a lion? <laughs> yeah. Perfect well, pet. That might be a little bit on the dangerous side, my love. Just give it milk, don't. What one. about a um, puffin? A puffin? <laughs> <laughs> You're well lucky, you don't, you don't have to wear a uniform. It's weird. It's okay. No, I'm sorry, I, I gotta go. My, my dad's making stupid face at me. <laughs> Get on with what? your homework. I am. No, you're not. You're listening to your iPod, you're MSNing. And you're watching wow. television. Wow. MSNing. Now, now I know that we're going back in the years. My God. I mean, when did this come out? This was 2007. So that was the point that M like MSN was really on the way out. Because um, 2006 is when I went to college. So... Yeah, Facebook and uh, and MySpace and like Bebo and things like that. That they were just starting to become a thing. So yeah, that would have been the sort of the the crossover years, really. Do stuff because I'm a kid. I I can multitask. Well, no, you can't actually because I read an article in the New Scientist that said even though they do it all the time, teenagers' brains are not suited to multitasking. <laughs> Whereas men in their mid forties, like me, actually are surprisingly. Really? Surprisingly what? Bad example, isn't Sorry, it? Something. 
<laughs> on the TV. I'll tell you what, you do your homework, I'll do mine. How's that? Men are just bad at multitasking in general. Why can't I keep like um, a knit in my little hair? But then it will lay babies, and then it will oh. be like a little town in my hair. You can't. I'm a. Town in your hair. No, you Why can't not? have a knit town in your hair. Why hasn't she got a jug oh, of water? That's unbelievable. That, that's the, always the way that my mum used to do. You'd get a, 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 like a jug of like really warm water. So if you manage to get a knit, you dunk them in there, you basically drown them and boil them all at the same time. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Melanie Watts has confused Queen Elizabeth I and Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> she must have typed the wrong... Queen number into Google. <laughs> I see Wikipedia wasn't first really school, okay, then. either, was it? Yeah. The Virgin Queen has got four children now. Hmm. One of them's a helicopter pilot. Dad, Dad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would bullets kill a fairy? Yep, you could kill a fairy with bullets. Would a machine gun kill a fairy? Yeah, you kill pretty well everything with a machine gun. Would a bazooka kill a fairy? Yeah, big bazooka. <laughs> That'll get him. <gasps> what are you... Sorry. Ben, <laughs> just pick it up and put it on the shelf. You were lucky your mum didn't see that. Yeah. What about an atom bomb? Atom bomb would kill everything pretty well. <laughs> Fairies, elves. Can I watch Little Britain? No. Rhythm break? No. The Soprano? That's, that's some very adult content there, isn't it? Where's the dinosaur book? <laughs> it's here, but you can't have it. Why? <laughs> because it's one of my days. I let it all down at the back. Oh, Where wow. Where are my days? Where are your days? And today's not any of your days. The wildebeest seem a little concerned. What's this? Attenborough. Nice. Tom Wildebeest is such an idiot. He's just seen his mate being torn to pieces by a crocodile. And then he's drinking from exactly the same place. <laughs> it's amazing what some animals will do to get on the telly. <laughs> so today went well then? Yeah, fine. Yeah. How did Tim Green get on? Anybody mention the dwarfism thing? Not really, but some boys started singing hi ho, hi ho, it's after work we go. That's not very nice. Well, no, but it's a school dad. That's what happens. Yeah. What else is on? Nothing. Oh, we've got 47 channels. There must be something half decent. Nah. Oh, big brother. Oh. Oh, more celebrity gossip. This is one of my days, so you can't have it. You got it. Give it oh. back. Oh. Give it back. Win a dream hug. I'm about the death of Princess Diana. No, you're right. <clears throat> Let's stick with that, bro. <laughs> In a single bath. My money is on the Jesus. <clears throat> oh no, Dad, you know the Impala's gonna escape. No, Jesus is the fastest land mammal. It's not gonna get away. No, but it's more agile, it can it can move quicker. That Impala like... would have to be on a motorbike. Come on. <laughs> no, the Impala is much no. more agile though. Come on, my spotty friend. No, he's gonna escape. Come on, you Impala! Come on, Impala! All the way, all the way round the tree. Hello. God. Daddy escaped! Hey! Yes, hello. Yes, I did get it. Yeah, I know, I know it needs sorting out, but I'm seeing you tomorrow, so... No, it, look, this, this really isn't a very good time to call, so... Yes. Yes, I will, I will see you tomorrow. Who's that? Who was that? Call caller. <laughs> the email from Angela. And Paul and Dad. I told you the Impala would win. You said the cheetah? No, yeah, I said the Impala. Get out here! Oh, no. What's happening? No. Karen, what's happening? He's got my dinosaur book! But that's I just sharing dinosaur book, Karen. He never says. says. No. Off you go. He's up dead. Up. Ignore hey, him. Hey, if it's her day, I'm on her side. It's my dinosaur. Don't ignore him, Karen. That's a bad word. Let's go. OK, Benny, don't get too comfortable. It's bedtime, yeah? How do you know we're not a character from somebody's dream? Or for a story book. How do we know not a character from someone's dream? Well, I can't imagine anyone having a dream this dull, can you? <laughs> well, I remember the time when I had a dream, 
that Karen was walking to the kitchen, she drank some milk and then I woke up. That's almost more dull than this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 What was going on anyway with you and Karen? What was all that about? She started it, she hit me with a baseball bat. Ben, do, do you know... Well done, we, Karen. We have got to have a chat about you making things up, you know. So you're always making things up. Like what? Well, like you telling your friend Sammy that I was a trained assassin. <laughs> and now you've been, you've been sending emails, haven't you, pretending to be mummy? No, I haven't. You've been when... sending emails to but mummy's friend have... Veronica. Yes, you have. And have now, not. don't lie. Listen, I haven't. this is the last time I'm going to say this. You have got to stop making things up. I have not. Don't make me cross. I know you have. You've been sending emails Pete. to mummy's friend not. Veronica. Yes, you have. And have now, mummy is cross, and Veronica is particularly cross because she didn't want to get Peter! That. Ben, I just need to borrow Daddy for a minute. She sent the email, didn't she? He's actually telling the truth for once in his life, clearly. It wasn't him. It was Jake. No. It was me who sent the email. Because Veronica sent me a, a, an email that was just full of the most unreasonable demands, so I fired something pretty explosive back, and then she rang me up in a total funk, and I was worried that she might sack me. How can we stop him behaving like some sort of, you know, junior Geoffrey Archer if, if you cannot even set an example? That is a very good point. He doesn't need to know. But then again, he's also a bit of a hypocrite. Like he did in the road race. Oh. Here we go. You're so if you, nice. if you could just make a bit more of an effort, if you could exercise just a modicum of self-control, then you wouldn't end up having to lie your way out of trouble. When am I going to have that five-pound note you promised me for getting out of the house this morning? <laughs> now, what have I just told you about not lying? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow <clears throat> that was great that was really great <clears throat> um a, a lot to sort of unpick there um so i don't know if it's only ever going to be the family that we see or whether we will have other characters as well but as an initial opening episode that was brilliant absolutely brilliant it was hilarious from start to finish that really really was and I, I i think i think probably the reason that this would have been so popular when it obviously was out would have come from a lot of people who probably could really resonate with that. Now, obviously, I don't have kids myself. I only currently have a three-year-old nephew uh, who I love dearly, but he does infuriate me at times. Um, and already I can see little glimpses of him in each of the three kids that we have in the, in the show. <clears throat> um, as I understand it, the kids do sort of age with the show uh, and so you see them kind of growing up um, which is going to make the show really really interesting I, this is definitely something I would like to see more of absolutely without a shadow of a doubt this was just great it, it, it felt so natural it didn't feel forced at any time and, and that's saying some sitcoms you feel where they're trying to force you to 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 have a laugh and i think the, yeah the semi-improvised nature of it it does allow for some great comedy because you, you literally you don't know what to expect from these kids and i think that is a very clever way of writing a show i've seen so many shows which feature kids and and they're very scripted and the kids you know, as much as they're probably quite cute and they're, they're quite talented, you can tell that they are child actors and that they are putting on a performance. Whereas here, 
like I could have just gone into any random house and got some kids on on my street and probably seen a very similar kind of situation, very similar um, kind of dynamic with the kids and the parents and, and things. So, yeah. Yeah, that that was just great. That really, really, really was. So, um, I definitely would like to see more of this show, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, it's t finally time to fit it in. That is always a problem that I have with, with, with the channel and the amount of different things that I'm trying to check out and, and you know, to... to yeah, just, just in general, tr just try and have fun with. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, do do let me know your thoughts on the show as, as a general rule. Don't let me know what, what your thoughts are of the, the kid actors, of the parent actors. Obviously, I know one is Hugh Dennis, of course, um, and the other one, Claire Skinner. If I remember correctly, I think she was actually in an episode of Doctor Who. I think she was in a Christmas one. Um, actually, it might be the next Christmas one that I'm due to remember to watch, if I remember correctly, because I think, I could be wrong, but I think she was in the weird sort of Narnia linked one, you know, the one that was sort of based on a Narnia book. Um, so that will be interesting if, if I'm right with that one, and to see her in that, kind of knowing other stuff that she's then done. But, hey, I'm going to leave it there for, for now in this reaction, so thank you very much for joining me up to this point. Please do subscribe if you're new. Please do drop your comments down below, but for now, my name is Kevin. I am a geek, and you've been watching Kevin the Geek. Goodbye.